Alana. And you know where we are? Yes, Whole Foods. Whole Foods West Van. Yes, Whole and Foods you, West Van. <laughs> and you are trying the hot mustard from Hot Garusha. Yes. Mm. That's really good. So, describe it to people who, would, who don't know. It's spicy. It's definitely spicy. But it's definitely got a mustard taste to it. It would be really good on a sandwich. Yeah. I'd put that on a sandwich with some like chicken. It would be really freaking good. And what exactly are you tasting? So people can say, oh, okay, I, I didn't know that. Like you're tasting a mustard. So. I'm tasting the mustard, but it's kind of a sweet mustard though. Okay. It tastes kind of sweet, but then with a spicy aftertaste. But not overbearingly spicy. It's really nice. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. It's Tyler. Tyler? Yes. And we are where? We are at the uh, Burnaby Whole Foods uh, trying out this hot sauce. Trying out Hot uh ghost pepper. Absolutely. And I'm totally ready for it. Go for it. Thank you. Okay. So describe, you know, what you're tasting and how the heat builds up. Uh, it started off nice and uh, nice and sweet, right? And then um, tangy, definitely tangy. Uh, you he he feel the heat in the back, slowly heating up. Yeah, it should and, be a um, slow burn. Yeah, very very slow, very slow. But it's increasing, and now it's spreading to the the surface of my tongue. Uh, although very hot, it is very good, and I really do enjoy it. But it is hot. <laughs> it is hot. So, um, do you feel what would you use the hot arusha sauces with? Um, with chips, definitely with chips. Uh, maybe in my burritos. Okay. Definitely with burritos or burrito bowls. So can you imagine this with chicken or shrimp? Or oh fish? yeah, shrimp. Definitely a good combination. I'd love to try it with uh, chicken uh, and chicken and rice. Really good. And the heat is still building up. As you can see. Yeah. What uh, I like about this sauce is that the heat doesn't go away. Oh. It stays with you. <laughs> That's... You know, I hate these sauces. You try it and you say, what was it I just tasted? This one has it. It stays with you. That's really... I, I That's like. good to know. <laughs> That's good to know. Thank you. Take care. No problem. Thank you very much. Works. Okay. So, what is your name? Uh, Juliana. Juliana. And where are we? Whole Foods Market. Yeah. Okay. And so you are trying the hot arusha mango. Yes, the mango. Go for Medium it. spicy. Okay, go for it. Mm. So tell us what you're tasting. It's very nice. Mm. I can't really feel, I can't really taste the mango, right. but nice flavor. Nice flavor. flavor okay. It's and nice flavor and oh. the spiciness is just perfect. What would you use this for if you were to cook or to, for your family? You know, <laughs> I think I would add it to, uh, is it nachos? nachos? Nachos, yeah. Well, after taking them out of, of the oven, I think I would, I would add, a add a little bit on top. Okay. <laughs> um, I like spicy. Anything else like shrimp or chicken? Oh, yeah, that would go perfectly with chicken, I think. Okay. I'm not, I'm not eating shrimp, but yeah, with chicken would be great. Kian? Kian? Yeah. Uh, where's that come from? Kian? Kian? Uh, apparently it's a Gaelic name, but I'm half Chinese, so I don't know. Oh, great. Okay, and where are we? Uh, we're in Burnaby Whole Foods. Okay, and you are trying <laughs> a mix of coconut curry, a ghost pepper, and a wild garlic yeah. uh, of hot arusha. Mm. Sounds delicious. Go for it. Hi, itadakimasu. So try and describe yeah. the abundance of flavors you should be having in your mouth. So it's sort of like a sort of sweetness off the bat. It's just starting to hit spicy now. And it's not overpowering. It's just lightly setting on my tongue. It doesn't hurt, but it's definitely pain, like I'm not painful, but definitely a spice. It's starting to hit the back of my throat now, not just my tongue. Mm. 
slowly hit down. And now it's starting to... Uh, I think the coconut curry or something is um, making my tongue feel less painful. It's right. soothing it down. Right, it's, it's a coconut milk in there, right? Mm -hmm. So what else are you... What else would you use this for? So now it's starting to hit the back and now it hurts. But it's not bad. What would I use this for? I think as a salsa, it'd be overpowering because it's like, well, for me, right. too much all at once. And you wouldn't want to eat that with every chip. It's good as a challenge. Well, I'm not, like, I don't eat spice every day, but I like it. I would use this. Uh, a touch of this would go well in any curry, I think, to make it spicy. A touch for salsa, or if you're putting some on chips, anything, or in, say, like a burrito or a wrap, a bit of a good kick there, and you wouldn't get it in every bite. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. My name is Amy. Amy. And where are we? In Whole Foods. Burnaby. In okay. Burnaby. <laughs> and and you, we are trying the, you're trying the Hadarusha coconut curry. Mmm. So I explain to people what you're tasting. It's a little bit sweet. Right. Fairly mild. Has a really nice coconut flavor. And can you imagine what you'd use this for or with? Can you imagine with you use rice it as a marinade? Yeah. Or have it with vegetables and meat and rice. Yeah. It's delicious. All Thank right. you. Thank you.